welcome in the Efteling. Welcome. Today it's uh, Wednesday, the 8th of March, 2023. And it snowed today. Look, snow. And that while well, the winter afternoon ended last weekend, and now we get snow. Yes, so we jumped in our car and we went to the Efteling because we love snow in the Efteling. It's already melting, um, but still it's uh, on the roofs and on the trees. Yeah. This park is so wonderful in snow. So we just entered through the entrance and we made a tiny time jump. And up ahead you see the wonderful building of Fata Morgana. Fata Morgana is a dark ride. And you go through several scenes in the city, uh, the, uh, in Mi 1001 Nights, Arabian Nights. Middle scenes. Eastern team. So this is uh, a unique chance to see Middle Eastern teaming in snow. Only in the Netherlands, right? I guess so. <laughs> and today, we're not sure this is very improv, so... I guess we're going to walk this spot next to Fata Morgana and see where we'll take it from there. It's windy, very windy and of course also a bit cold but um, well it's approximately 5 degrees I think. That's why the snow melts almost immediately, immediately when it falls down. It's quite unusual in the Netherlands for snow. We have it maybe if we're lucky once a year and this year twice. So yay. And um, on the lake, you see on the right, there's a nighttime spectacular called uh, Aquanura. It's at the end of the day, a fountain show. We've got a video of it on our channel as well, if you're interested. And absolutely must see if you're uh, visiting this park. And here you see some snow. <laughs> We're going to point it out. There's yeah, some. <laughs> there's some snow. <laughs> and it's qu very quiet at the park because well, it's, it's a, a regular day. Wednesday. Yeah, it's a regular Wednesday, so most people are at work. We are lucky. We have uh, the Wednesday afternoon off, and it, uh, that's why we're here. And there are a few school children. The Efteling is very popular for school outings, and there were one or two buses at the entrance, so there are a couple of school children in the Efteling as well. And Furthermore, mostly grandparents with their children and some parents, but it's very quiet. Mostly Wednesday afternoon is a little peak in the park because most school children are off Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday or Friday. It's, it's, if, uh, in the Netherlands, we've got a school week um, that... Most usually they have one afternoon in the week off and mostly is a, a Wednesday or a Friday and that's why a lot of parents have those uh, part-time days as well so uh, that they can spend more time with the children and of course what a better way to spend a day than here. If you go over there to the right you will enter the Fata Morgana Square. Mm -hmm. And you can enter the attraction at the large tower. There's absolutely no queue at the moment. It is a uh, low season. So it's March, the beginning of March and February and March are absolutely low season uh, months for this park. Um, it's also the months where there is a lot of maintenance. So we'll see that today as well. A lot of things are uh, closed to be maintained. One of the reasons why we love this park, because it's so well maintained. Um, but keep that in mind when you're planning your trip for this month, these months. No waiting time, but also not all the experience are available. Over here we walk over the turf. So. 
over the terrors of Bakerai Krumel, that latest edition uh, in restaurants. It's uh, a bakery. A, b a very good bakery, good With place to eat. Yep. And uh, uh, right now, for lunch. Yeah, right now the latest edition, but yesterday we had some exciting news about uh, the new attraction that they're building and uh, we'll see that when we walk uh, up ahead. There will also be a, a small grocery store and uh, a new point of sale for cotton candy and popcorn. All in uh, and I've spooky. And I've heard it will be possibly black cotton candy. Ooh. And it's the, the old spook slot, so the, the haunted house that's um, they're building new, so it's all a scary theme. It, 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 the, the drawings looked amazing, so quite looking forward, but we'll have to wait. On the left, it's Max and Moritz. Max and Moritz, it's a dueling, uh, not actually a dueling, uh, it's a powered coaster, two separate tracks. One is for Max, the other is for Moritz. Uh, it's yeah, the most accessible roller coaster of the park. Some people say it's for children, but it's it's a nice track. I, I like them. And by accessible, we mean for all ages, and uh, not necessarily for people of all body sizes. So be aware of that. But uh, is, is there a, a ride, is a place where you can fit if you are? Nope, Max and Moritz, no. there's no fit, uh, no test seat. Mm. And as you can see, ooh, <laughs> no Mr. Lample today. There's a Easter egg over there, when the train passes by the school, uh, the teacher uh, lights up his pipe. And explodes. And explodes, because Max and Moritz put TNT in it. <laughs> and when you come by the second time, he opens the window and says everything is broken. Completely yeah. bla black faced by the, all the smoke. Of course, he's not happy. Nope, he's no. not. And over here on the left is the place where they are building Dance Macabre. It will be a, a, a complete area as well. So we in the Efteling we don't really have themed areas, but we're getting to it. We have the first one um, with Shiroko and it will be the second one. It we depends really on who you ask. Yeah. Some people say there are already four themed, but um, mostly it's just an attraction with some themed area, but this will be the second uh, actual place where there's an attraction, where there's food and beverage and uh, some uh, merchandise. Level toys. And Hyvewoud will be the name of the spooky area. And I believe even the Levatories will be the, the, they call it the Last Hope, yep. which I found very funny. So yeah, well, we have to wait another year. This will open in the... Well Approximately summer 20. The summer of 2024, yeah. I guess the same time as the hotel will open, the new hotel at the entrance. Here you see Baron 1898, the dive coaster of the park. I love this area because you can get so close to all the coasters and, and actually see um, almost the expression on the face of the people that are riding it, that are riding it. You can really get there is one train and you can really get down to the place where they go underground where, where they will hang over the railing there the railing is. there and let's see yes there it goes it's a short track but i think it's the best dive coaster i've ever done because the teaming is so well done. Inside for there's a pre-show. For those of you who know me, you know I'm extremely afraid of heights, but I have this rule every ride in the Efteling I need to do at least once. I did this. It's the second dive coaster. And the first dive coaster I saw never again, but I, I did it anyway. Scary as hell, but still. Yeah, we <laughs> sat on the third row that time, and actually that's the most scariest place uh, Intense place to sit. On the third row, on the outside of the train, the ride is the most intense. And here we see Gondoletta. Now, last time we 
walked here. It was too cold to ride. This uh, it's open, but it's uh, 20 minutes, and you sit on the lake. It's windy now, so you yeah you be You'll cold. Freeze. <laughs> You'll be very cold. So again, no people in it. The second time we walked here, but in spring and in summer, this uh, this is a very popular ride. The boats. There's a car coming, train coming. I hear it from behind. Let's see if we can catch a good shot of it. Berwin is built by B&M, the first B&M in the park and the only B&M in the park. That's and true. it's so smooth. It's rumored that there will one day be another, but yeah, maybe but it's we're waiting for a long time already. So maybe it's I'm just not sure. Thinking, yeah. I'm not sure what's true about that rumors. Does. And also some snow over here. <laughs> I was thinking it, you said it. I do. <laughs> this morning there was lots more of more snow on the trees. But it's yeah, it was coming down, so it wasn't really we weren't really able to go outside. Where will we go next? We can go to the roller coasters to Symbolica or let's go to the more quiet path over here. Oh yes. The hardly traveled path. But people walk here. It's evidence. Uh, it's one of the more quiet paths in the park. Uh, it's not a main path. Uh, the Efteling is a nature park, as you can see. They are only allowed to build on 10% of the park. Uh, well, we need to say uh, paths and squares ex uh, are excluded. Um, but it makes the, there are some really quiet places in the Efteling. This is one of them. It's also a very short path, but it's short, a nice shortcut. Over there is the pagoda. pagoda. Across the lake is also Symbolica. And right now we're walking to the trains, the children trains. And this uh, little piece here is allows you to see dragons yeah. fly above the lake. But it's shut down a lot of the times the last oh. time. So I'm, I oh. looked through. It needs it some. It needs some fairy dust. It, it, it was a pilot from a student company, uh, or a company who placed it there. With augmented reality, you saw dragons flying over the lake. Um, but it's shut down for, I guess, a few months now. Hmm. I hope they will restore it. It was it nice. Was really you see cool. a lot of children uh, walk up there, look over the lake, and be amazed because, of course, there are no dragons, but you see them through the looking glass. Let's hope uh, the Efteling will restore that as well. And this is a little train track um, for children. You can ride it as an adult, but be aware, it's uh, you, you have to pedal <laughs> and it's yeah. quite intense. Yeah, you have to pedal like a bike. <laughs> Don't underestimate it. Nope. The signs at the attraction say only for children up to 12 years. But if you insist to ride it, you're allowed. You're allowed, but it's quite uncomfortable if you're an adult. There the are better rides in the park. And yes. if you want to see the track, you can also go into the, into the gondoletta and see the track from there. 
but this is the place where you can enter the attraction if you want to. And actually, this was, wasn't the original place for this attraction. It's replaced. It used to be next to Lavalar, um, but they uh, replaced it over here. I'm not they sure where, in which year, yeah. which year, but I, I like this place. This is a much better place for this attraction. Yeah, it was more near uh, Anton Peak uh, Square. Anton Peak Square next to Lavalar in that area. And, um, well, it wasn't that popular. But because the Efteling uh, cherished their old attraction, uh, attractions, they replaced it to over here. And I think it's a nice place to have such old Dutch buildings and the pedal trains look how nice next to the gondoletta and there's still some winter theming left like these big lanterns they will be removed any day now. in the in, in any day yeah. any day now it was a quite long winter efteling this year from november up to beginning of March. There was a lot of debate uh, between Efteling fans if it was too long. And you see, it ended and only three <laughs> days later, there's snow. So not too long. Not too long. Too short, actually. And here is quite a panoramic view, let me Get a good shot of it. Oh, we'll do this from the other side. And on the right, here, there, before Corona, there was quite an extensive plan to um, build a new area and, and really extend the park, which is quite unique. Because the Efteling in all its... It didn't happen in 70 years, I believe, uh, yeah. that there was... A real in, in real extension. Uh, there are still plans to extend the park. They have the permission to extend the park up to the highway. But they decided to uh, to make to build new attraction inside of the park first. And maybe extend later on. So, oh, here is a train track for the steam train and one of the main reasons to not extend the park now is because of the uh, environmental reasons there's a lot of debate about yeah and I'm not sure how to call it in English stickstof yeah. um, but that's the one of the main reasons to not extend the park at this point but I'm quite sure they will in the future well the plans are there they're on a shelf and let's hope uh, they will realize it one day the so rumors are are that the attraction that was planned won't come anywhere uh, at all anymore oh, rumors rumors but um this area yeah w was new it was to be built new and um that would replace probably this little playground as well but as far as we know it, it will still stay. And this is the entrance of the uh, hotel, actually, at the moment. And I hope they will replace this play area. Well it's, it's so out of theme. If you're, if, if you're uh, in the hotel, this is not the best place to enter the park. It's really, the if this is the first thing you see, well, the everything will get better. That's true as well. But here is a panoramic view of the lake. And on the right is uh, one of the many places at the moment with fences. Mm -hmm. And they're building a new restaurant. So the one I realize now with Dance Macabre, that would be the newest new one. This is the newest new one. This will open in a couple of weeks. This will open in uh, April. And it was, uh, were actually two restaurants, one table service, one quick service. Um, but they will change it to one large um, restaurant 
also themed uh, in the world of uh, Sinbad. And you saw that little pig, it's one of the three pigs uh, that is building at the moment in the Efteling. They uh, made up that character because there are so many places that he's building. And it's quite a cute character. You see them everywhere in the park at this moment. And the world of Sinbad, that's, this is also a quite new addition and the restaurant will uh, match the theming. And also Middle Eastern style, Klaus the One Nights the, the in the snow. The restaurant will be an oriental market place where Sinbad uh, comes to rest after his travels. And I'm, uh, I forgot about the name. What was it again? Kumba? No. Uh, I oh, think I'm not sure anymore. They announced it just a few we a uh, few days ago. Kebaka or something like that. <laughs> no, we are the real fans. <laughs> Here is Sinbad. Kashba was the name. I, knew I it. looked it up, Kashba. Something with a K, I knew it. And Kashba will be an oriental market with nice seating. Um, it will be over there. It will look like a city walls. All and, in and the, the same tents, theme. And the tents, really Middle Eastern style tents. Um, where you can eat and yeah, well, well let, let's see. Okay. I'm curious for it. I, I can't wait to have lunch there. Over here we see Piotr. It's also a winter theming with the mistletoe. Yeah, the lovely cute. snowman from Carnival Festival. I like that addition. Yeah, it's the first year that uh, they came out yeah. of the attraction. And I like the little snowmans. I hope they will do more with them next winter. And also here they're, they are working at the store. And I guess we will walk up to Anton Pieckplein now. Mm -hmm. and That's okay. Over here you can get the typical Dutch Unokswurst. Uh, yeah, it's sausage. basically a hot dog, but yeah, with In Dutch sauce. A bigger... Bigger, yeah, yeah a sausage. More fatty, a yeah. little smoky. It's not my favorite no. snack <laughs> at the park. <laughs> We're not the greatest fans that you might But there have. are lines for the for that yeah, sandwich. They, they are quite popular. Uh, if I were you, I would walk on over there and go right uh, just before you cross over the tra train track and get... Uh, a sandwich with meatball and uh, peanut sauce. I love that one. And and they also have a new sh snack. If you are here, you need to try it. It's in the Sprookjesbos. The Sprookjesbos. If you're fairy tale English, forest. the fairy tale forest, exactly. And um, across from the man with a very long neck, you can't long miss neck. him. Really, you can't miss him. There is a little house, and they um, sell. Stroopwafels, stroopwafels, dipped in chocolate with it, it, it's perfect. You need to try that. A really nice addition to the uh, food uh, choices in the park. Actually, the Efteling has really nice food options. Yes. Especially snacks. Maybe we, we have to take them on a snack tour once. A food tour. Ooh. A food tour through the Efteling. Oh, we have to try it, yes. Very, very good. I like that idea. Who wants to join us? Let us know if you want to join us. If you want a food tour, uh, let us know in the comments, especially what food you would like to see on the food tour. This is the Anton uh, Peak uh, Plain or Anton Peak Square, and it's called after the first designer of the park, Anton Peak. He was famous for all Dutch uh, drawings, fairy tale drawings, and he made. Uh, quite a few uh, drawings that are still used today to for the designers that work today. They use them to get inspired and get ideas. And I, if you I really like the design team they have. And if you really want to see some original paintings of him, you can go over to the Efteling Museum on the same square here, 
we, we, yeah, we, we just, just passed by. It. And there are some sketches you can see from all designers of the park. It's lovely. There, you can see some paintings. You can see all the items from the park. Um, it's the entrance is also over there. You, you yep. walk back and forth. I will leave you here. Thank you. I'll see you next time.